Oh my god, how smooth is this? Oh, it doesn't get much better than that. It doesn't get much better than that. Welcome back, everyone, to the channel today. We're going to be checking out the Tomb Raider remasters. Um, specifically, we are going to be playing Tomb Raider 1, the first one, the 1996 classic. Oh, Lara. Oh, you are looking stunning. And this theme. I I want this played at my funeral. I really do. It's... Oh, I'm back I'm back in the 90s. I'm I'm an eight-year-old again playing some classic Tomb Raider. I have been so excited for these remasters. Tomb Raider means a lot to me. I, I grew up on the games, specifically one and two, so uh so I was so, so happy when they announced that they were remastering these, because playing these on like Steam it is just such a faff, and and honestly, these games deserve to be played by as many people as possible. So so happy that this is finally happening. Now I've seen a little bit of gameplay of the remasters, I, I've seen some of the visual tweaks that they've made, and I'm also aware of some of the uh, new features they've added. But other than that, I really haven't seen too much, so I'm really just super excited to jump into this and, and make my own opinions. I hope you're going to enjoy the journey, chaps. Um, hopefully we'll, we'll do all of these. Uh, I, it really does depend how these videos do. Um, so please do support them if you can. If you're a massive Tomb Raider fan, let me know. What are your best Tomb Raider memories? Oh my gosh, I'm sure I'm going to be talking about all of mine as we play. But let's actually, before we jump into the first game, let's have a look at these uh, other title screens. Oh. Oh. Tomb Raider 2 is actually my favourite out of the first three. In fact, no, it's my favourite Tomb Raider game. What am I talking about? Love it to death. I haven't really played too much Tomb Raider 3 over the years. Um, but yeah, let's... We're getting way ahead of ourselves here. We're getting way ahead of ourselves. Tomb Raider 1... Let's go to Lara's home, a.k.a. the tutorial level. Probably my favorite tutorial levels in any game ever, the uh, the Lara mansion bits. So we're going to jump into this. It won't take too long, and then we're going to be into the game good and proper. Oh my gosh. Oh, look at her. Oh, I'll and a bike home. as well. I'll take you on a guided tour. Oh my god, how smooth is this? Oh, this is so weird. Because, especially Tomb Raider 1, in the PAL region, right, it runs at about 4 frames per second. Not even joking, well, a little bit higher than that, but it it really, you, you feel like you're running in slow motion. Dude. So, welcome to Lara's Mansion. Yes, this is the tutorial level. Oh my god. Does this look incredible. Now, before we begin... I've noticed there are subtitles, and you can go back to classic mode with the options button instantly. Oh my god, that's incredible. Now, not gonna lie, I still think this looks really good. That's just because I'm a 90s kid. Um, we're not gonna be playing it in this mode, mostly. We might, we might just kind of remind ourselves from time to time what it used to look like. Um, but good lord, Lara. In your, in your gym wear. You've you've never looked better. And you have a ponytail, which actually works. It's kind of wiggling a little bit. But yeah, the original, she didn't even have a ponytail. They couldn't even get that working in the first game. So uh, that's awesome. Uh, Touchpad is the classic inventory with the compass and the passport where we can save our game. And oh, they've even kept the sound effects. Oh, that's so good. Now, I think they've added a different control scheme in this. Yeah, you can go from original tank controls, which I'm probably going to stick with, to be honest, because that's just, that's old school Tomb Raider to me. But if they're not your bag, because they are a little bit jank, uh, you can go to modern controls. So we're going to see how that feels. Oh, that's weird. That's... That's very weird. And you can even move the camera with the right stick, so it does feel a lot more like a game that would be made nowadays. Um, yeah, I'm sure that's actually going to be technically a better way to play. But you know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go back to the original. 
controls on that. And I, I might I might try swapping between them from time to time, but I'm I'm old school. I'm old school. I, I like the tank controls in my Tomb Raider. But it's lovely that they've given you the option. That's gonna make it so much more accessible for people. Um, I also think that there are some options with, um, yeah, action indicators, so we'll see this anyway, uh, I'm sure. But let's, uh, let's explore the mansion. I'm even just using the, the D-pad, uh, to, to move her, because it just feels right, you know what I mean? But you could use the stick as well. Oh, just look at the lighting through the window as well. And the jump. Oh, it feels great. It feels so good. Now, I'm sure Lara will explain the controls to us as we get to the actual uh, main hall. Okay, let's do some tumbling. Press the jump button. Oh, it's the same voices as well. Now press it again and quickly press one of the directions and I'll jump that way. Yeah! Woo! Oh, it still feels so good, you know. There we go. Now, in the original Tomb Raider, you couldn't actually do the jump and roll midair. I'm pretty sure they've changed that in this, though. There we go. Oh, that is so... it's so responsive as well. I'm still gonna be making lots of jumps or trying to make jumps and Lara just won't do it. I'm sure that's gonna happen. But at least now I feel like it's going to be purely my fault, which I don't know actually if I'm okay with that. Um, anyway, I'm gonna stop harping on about it. <laughs> oh, this is great. Yeah, so you got the roll. Um, hold R1 to walk. I'm playing this on PlayStation as well, by the way. So, how I played it back in the day. Um, hold R1 and you can sidestep as well. L1 is look around. Yeah, it's, it's the same controls as, like, Tomb Raider 2, basically. Uh... I don't know if you can sprint in this one. I don't know if the if they'll have added sprint. Oh, that's weird. Huh. Huh. Anyway, excellent. There isn't actually too much to do in Lara's home in the first game, but I just wanted to show it off. And yep. Ah, uh, the main hall. Sorry about the crates. I'm having some things put into storage, and the delivery people haven't been yet. What the hell? You just can't get the the staff these days, can you? Lara, you are absolutely minted. I can't even imagine living in a house this big. And, uh, yeah, I would just spend hours as a kid just running around this, this place. I just... Oh. Run up to a crate, and while still pressing forward, press action, and I'll vault up onto it. Alrighty. <laughs> there we go. Press the action button. Excellent. You got a lot of shit, Lara. What, what is all this stuff? All, all things you found on your adventures? Right, into the... This used to be the ballroom. Yes. But I've converted it into my own personal gym. What do you think? Well, let's do some exercises. Looks, uh, looks pretty... I can't even imagine. <laughs> this room is bigger than my whole house. Uh, right, so let's just quickly remind ourselves what it did used to look like. There we go. I love that they've let you do this. That's so great. I don't actually run everywhere. When I want to be careful, I walk. Hold down the walk button, and with the walk button down, I won't fall off, even if you try to make- If you want to look around, oh. <laughs> press and hold the look button, then press in the direction you want to look. Yeah, that used to happen a lot as well, just constantly interrupting it. I don't think I ever properly did these tutorials, like, the legit way. I think I'd always get bored and just run off and explore. Um, I always used to think that these were, like, covered in, uh, let's have a look. What did they used to look like? Yeah, like little- Little dollar signs? I don't know why. Right. If a jump is too far for me, I can grab there the ledge go. and save myself from a nasty fall. Walk to the edge with the- If I do a running jump, I can walk <laughs> Sorry, Lara, I'm completely- Until I stop. Then let go of walk and tap backwards to give me a run up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Press forward and almost immediately press and hold the jump button. Right, uh, this is a really big one. Really big one. To do a running jump exactly as before, Except while I'm in the air, press and hold the action button to make me grab the- Nice! <laughs> nice! Thanks, Lara. Yeah, so there's also a shimmying thing there. I'm not going to spend too much more time on this, chaps, but um, I just want to quickly look outside because... Back in the day, this was just like a skybox. You, there wasn't actually an area outside. But it does look much more 3D nowadays. 
In fact, let's, uh... Yeah, there you go. <laughs> How far things have come. Look at that. Oh my god, this looked incredible though in 1996. Although I didn't play this in 96, I must, I must, uh, sort of, be open and honest. I actually played this, I think it would have been 98 or 99. Because I actually played Tomb Raider 2 first. Let's go for a swim. Yes. Oh, let's check the, the water effects. And the directions move me around underwater. Oh, they look they look uh a little bit better than 1996, but I still I still thought as a kid that that was unbelievable graphics, right? It looked like water. You know what I mean? Oh, back when 3D games were still like new and and exciting and Oh, right. No diving board in this one, though, but look how gorgeous this looks. Oh, my gosh. And yeah, no butler in uh, in Lara's Mansion in the first game, sadly. Don't worry. We'll get to that in Tomb Raider 2. Right, here we go. Sploosh. And the old sound effects as well. Got our health uh, air meter there. <sighs> oh, air. <laughs> Just use forward and left and right to maneuver around on the surface. Press jump to dive down for another swim about, or go to the edge and press action to climb out. Yeah, I think I think we're done here, Lara. I want to get into the game now. Let's right. go. Now I'd better take off these wet clothes. <sighs> Which, uh, I think, was it was that the, the, the sole thing that started the whole you could get Lara naked rumor? Because I remember that in school and, and all over the place. It's complete false. Right. Let's start the game. Um, we've look, had a look at options and sound and all that. Ooh, extras. Let's have a quick check at these. Oh, that's just the freaking. That's not a very good extra. It's just the credits and the bloody legal agreement. Oh, this music. Sorry, I'm going to be gushing the whole time, chaps. Right, let's start the game. Um, oh, and of course, with these remasters, they've added the expansions, which I've never played because they were only on PC, and I only ever played this on PlayStation. So that's really cool. Um, new game, let's jump in. Now, I, again, I've played these games a lot over the years, but I don't play them super often and my memory sucks. So I can't promise I'm, I'm gonna do particularly well. I'm gonna have forgotten the locations of things or the solution to puzzles. These games are bloody hard, right? These games were just also terrifying, which we'll get into. Um, but I promise you, I will, I will get all the secrets that I find. So let's jump in, new game. Los Alamos, New Mexico, snakes. Uh, why do it have to be snakes? I like that you see the explosion before you hear it. That's a nice little detail. Oh, get to see these 1996 pre-rendered cutscenes in all their glory. Although they do look a lot sharper. They do look a heck of a lot sharper. Whoa. And very dark as well. What's a man gotta do to get that kind of attention from you? It's hard to say exactly, but you seem to be doing fine. Well, great. Though truth is, it ain't me that wants you. Oh? No, Miss Jacqueline Natla does. From Natla Technologies. You know, creator of all things bright and beautiful. <laughs> Seal it, Larson. Ma'am. Feast your eyes on this, Lara. How does that make your wallet rumble? I'm sorry. I only play for sport. But then you'll like a big park. Peru. Vast mountain ranges to cover. Sheer walls of ice, rocky crags, savage winds, and there's this little trinket. An age-old artifact of mystical power is buried in the unfound tomb of Qualapec. That's my interest. You could leave tomorrow. Are you busy tomorrow? That 90s laptop. Oh, the amount of times I've seen this cutscene. Couldn't even tell you. I don't think Lara looks too dressed for the weather, to be honest. I'm not sure that poncho is going to do much <laughs> against the, the snow and the wind.
Of course she knew that was a button. Okay, this terrified me as a kid. Ooh. Music, though. So good. And thus, Lara's quest to just eradicate every animal off the face of the earth begun. And here we go. Ready for the eyebrow raise? There we go, there it is! Oh man. All oh, these loaded screens look great! And not very long either. We're a bit longer on the PS1, I'll tell you that for free. Right, we're in, chaps. Oh, this is so weird. See all the paw prints from the, uh, from the wolves. So, we're in the first level, the caves, I believe it's called. And this just feels so smooth. Oh my gosh. That's actually insane. Uh, triangle for the old unlimited ammo guns. Oh, you see the casings bounce as well, that's so great. She, yeah, she's so freaking athletic. Alright, so, oh the ambience already. These games terrified me. Me and my family actually played through these Tomb Raider games. We never actually beat them legit, we'd always have to use cheats because we get stuck invariably at some point. I uh, get ready to run Lara. Oh, oh, oh. Classic booby traps. And uh, oh yeah, speaking of boobies. Uh, Lara is uh, currently very well-rounded, a very well-rounded well character, but it wasn't the case back in 1996. Oh, triangle tits. There we go. Can't really get a good view of him here, but uh, yeah. You see, she doesn't even have a ponytail. Like, oh. I love that you can just swap at will. That's so great. Right, as, as I've said, I have played these games, especially this first level, so many times over the years. I do not remember where all the secrets are, but I will try my best to find as many as I can. Um, is this the way I'm supposed to go? I feel like that's the way I'm supposed to go. Oh, just the snowflakes falling down. Didn't get that in the original. And everything's so blocky. I love that in this remaster they didn't change how blocky it looks, because that's just how they were made, you know? It was very grid-based. And, uh, right, this is a slope, so she's gonna slide off that. Oh, like riding a bike. Bring! The first bring of the playthrough, we found our first secret, chaps, and it is a health pack, which, um, yeah, as you can see, They've actually got little exclamation marks that pop up to tell you when you can pick stuff up. Because in the original, it wasn't always clear. You'd think you were close enough to something and Lara just wouldn't do anything with it. You can turn that off though, if you're a purist. So, I might do, I might do, I don't know, we'll see. Okay. Oh Lara, you look gorgeous. You really do. I mean, I, I, I've loved all the Tomb Raider games. Angel of Darkness, maybe not so much. But, um... It's just nice to go back to, to something simpler times, you know what I mean? There's no like angst or character growth to worry about. No, we're just we're just going into some caves, shooting some wolves and some bats. Because, you know, they were just minding their own business. But Lara, no no no. Nothing must live. It's like if you've played Uncharted, Drake has to break everything. Lara has to murder all of the wildlife, and uh, I'm pretty sure there's another secret up here, actually. Yeah, there we go. Oh, oh, oh! There we go, not too difficult. You compare this first level to the first level in Tomb Raider 2, it's unreal how much harder Tomb Raider 2 is. But again, that was my favorite. I got that, um 
first. Well, we borrowed it off my uncle and never gave it back. We also borrowed Tomb Raider 1. And then eventually we bought Tomb Raider 4. So we never actually owned Tomb Raider 3 uh, or Tomb Raider 5. But I did borrow Tomb Raider 3 and play it a little bit from a, a friend at school. So again, I have very limited experience with Tomb Raider 3. But uh, 1 and 2, oh. Oh, this is so great. Yeah, just just the ambience. Honestly, these games, animals jumping out at you, it terrified me as a kid. So we, we would take turns, me and my family, taking turns, uh, playing, and uh, obviously trying to help each other when we got stuck. Because some of, some of the puzzles in this and some of the things you got to do, like, especially back when every texture looked the fucking same, it was so hard to know sometimes what you could interact with. Um... It's a lot bloody darker, isn't it, in the remaster? Which it would be, because we're in a fucking cave! Oops, slidey slidey. Um... So, yeah, uh, now I'm actually not remembering where any of the other secrets are. I think there's usually... There's usually three per level, or was that just Tomb Raider 2? Oh god. Leaves. Right. Just always get your guns out, Lara. And we've got our first switch. Now, you, as you can see, tells us that we can pull it. I'm, I'm saying this right now. Scary than fucking Silent Hill or Resident Evil. I'm saying that right now. Oh, I didn't actually play those when I was this age. Okay. Wooden door. Can't get through there. This is so nostalgic, though. I'm so glad these exist. I would love them to remaster 4 and 5, but... Specifically 4. I I, I actually re, um, recently just played a little bit of Tomb Raider 4 on stream. Just to kind of get to grips with old classic Lara again, which I think has helped, because... Yeah, these games... Especially if you're using the tank controls... They are dated, you know? They are dated. But I still think they... They hold up surprisingly well. Oh, we've already made it to the bridge room. And yep, there are doggos down there. Very nasty, aggressive doggos. Or at least there should be. Larry, you were... Oh, is it sleeping? Hang on. Oh yeah, look, they're sleeping. Okay, so one thing that I learned in my time playing Tomb Raider as a kid was whenever I entered a new room, I would always make a beeline for anything that I could climb up on because... More often than not, you were safe. Like, these walls can't climb. You know what I mean? And in Tomb Raider 1, there weren't really many enemies... Like, human enemies that had guns, like there are just a million of in Tomb Raider 2. I'm so sorry, doggos. But you gotta die. You will, you will attack me if I go down there. There we go. Right, I think that's all of them. Um... Thankfully, these icicles don't drop down. They look like they will. And trust me, in later games, they will. Um, but yeah, right, I think that's it. I keep, I keep on just wanted to quickly go back to see how the original looked. So obviously, Tomb Raider 1 was remade in Tomb Raider Anniversary, and I've actually done a full playthrough of that on the channel a few years ago. That was a really great game. I, uh, I enjoyed that trilogy of Tomb Raider games, um, but I still think I have, I've always preferred the original. And now, I may have a new favourite version of it. We'll see. Don't know if there's any items down there, but we go this way. Oh, this bit. So, also in the original Tomb Raider, at least on PS1, you couldn't save just anywhere. There were these save crystals and one of them was here. Now, in this remaster, I believe you can just save wherever you want, so I should probably do that. I should probably do that, because I will be dying a lot in this game. And can I just say, I love that all the menus look the same as well. Like, I, I, this is just so great. This is so great. Now, very infamous area, this for Child Mage, because I fell down here as a kid, and what I was greeted with... Uh, 
Possibly scarred me for life. Yes, a fucking bear. Hi, Yogi. You need to die because, well, you don't actually need to die. I don't know how you're surviving down here. I don't know how most of the animals in this game survive. The classic Tomb Raiders weren't entirely bothered about realism. Uh, they were more just about having fun and just instilling that sense of adventure. Exploring these long forgotten places. Did I kill- no, he's still alive. I think there might be items down there. You know what? Big boy pants. Big boy pants. Ooh, I just took a lot of damage. Ooh, I just took a lot of damage. Okay, he's dead. He's dead. Look at these character models. Again, I love that they haven't really changed them too much. It's quite faithful. It's... Oh, I love it. Oh. Okay, yeah, after a bear, bats just don't seem to be as scary. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's not too bad. Uh, ah, is this how we actually get out of here? It is. I think this is a pressure pad. Which, you know, just opens a cave door out of sheer rock. Uh, and it is timed. I love me some timed bloody buttons. Another health pack, which I might actually have to use. Yeah, we might as well. <sighs> the relief. The relief. Okay. Let me just quickly go back this way, because I don't remember if there's anything else to find. I don't think so. No. Yeah, and you can't... Oh, Did that bear just move then? Did that bear just move? I swear it looked like it moved then. Don't you be shitting me up, Tomb Raider. You're already gonna do that enough. Right. Out we go. So yeah, not sure how that bear survived on... Uh, nothing. Like, there's no there's no food in here. And uh, same for the wolves. The bats, I can, I can understand, because they could just fly the fuck out, but anyway. Oh, the way that they've died... <laughs> The way that they've died as well. Oh no. Rub its belly. Oh dear. Right, I need to get back up there. Can I make this jump from here? Oh, okay. I can. Very good. Uh... Oh, there's a little thing down here. I don't think that's actually important though. I don't think there's anything you can do with that little creepy fucking skull basket, whatever that is. Let's just go back the way we came. Whoa! <laughs> and I've always felt, especially when it was a lower frame rate in the original, she jumps like she's on the moon. Like, gravity just doesn't work the same in Tomb Raider. It's great. It's great. And you'll see later as well with all the logic of some of the switches. Don't make any sense either, but you just don't question it. It's, a, it's amazing. Right, anything behind any of these pillars? Oh, there is. There is. Okay. Didn't quite make it. Yeah, ma many, many an hour spent playing Tomb Raider with, with my family, my mum and dad. You know, they, they... They hadn't really... I think Tomb Raider was the first game series that we, we all got into uh, as a family. And I'd say it was probably around the same time as Crash Bandicoot, so both of those together. This music! Iconic. Ooh, crap! Oh, okay, we've killed the animals now. We've, the danger's gone. Music's so intense! It's so good. But yeah, a little bit overkill because the, the wolves are dead now. We're all good. And there's a switch. Love the vines hanging down. That's really nice. Ready for it? Ready for it? It's gonna it's gonna end in a minute. Yes! Love it! You just never forget. That that music is so good. Honestly. Right, let's push this, or... 
push it down. Oh, do 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 do. Scary. Oh fuck. Okay, that was a bit of a. I, I kind of overshot that slightly. Ooh. There we go, Lara. Uh, also, this game really started my obsession with fingerless gloves. That's timed too? Why is that timed? I forgot that was timed. It's me just yabbering on. I swear. Ooh. Well, that's okay, because it actually led me to finding another med pack. Although with the original, it was um, the Red Cross, but yeah, the Red Cross like copyrighted that, didn't they? So a bunch of games had to change that. Well, they didn't change it in the original, but they've changed it for this. And I'm just thinking, like, a, re a, a green, a green cross just doesn't quite, doesn't quite look right. Sorry, Lara. You have just br bruised your ample breasts there quite badly. Oh, Lara, you're going to be put through the ringer. If you if you think it's bad in the, in the 2013 Tomb Raider and onwards, I mean, it is. The deaths in those games are just horrendously graphic. But, um, yeah, no, we're going to... Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Lara, please, we're going to miss the door again. We're going to miss the bloody door again. Now we're not. We're good. We're good. Uh, is this the... Ooh. More wall arrows that just trigger... ...somehow. Again, don't think about it. Don't think about it, it's okay. Doggos! Oh. That floor looks a little bit dodgy, doesn't it? That looks a little bit dodgy. Such a good soundtrack. And they, they use music quite sparingly in this, which again, does add to the atmosphere and emphasizes certain moments, but um... Oh my god, that was so loud. That was so loud. Oh, something's triggering. Right. Yeah, there's a bunch of arrows firing off somewhere. I'm pretty sure there's a, a doggo through here as well. If I remember correctly. Or is it on the other side? Might be on the other side. Yeah, it's on the other side. Okay. Uh, speaking of the size, we can probably just jump across there, I reckon. Is there, um... I'm not sure if there's like a quick save option in this, but it's it's fairly quick to do this anyway. I... No, I don't want to... I don't want to load my... Oh my god, I nearly loaded my game. Can you imagine if I had loaded my game by accident? Maybe you wouldn't have missed too much progress, but, uh... Let's try to remember what you do in here. Okay. Oh, here we go. It's danger music again. I think, is it just the one? Again. Kind of uh, overkill for just one wolf. And we got our first large med pack. We're needing lots of those. No, it's just, there's a switch. There's just one wolf. Music, just calm down. Calm down, it was just one wolf. Alright, I don't know if this is timed. Din din. Din din. So, so good. Right. Get ready for some epic skills here. Okay, that didn't quite work. Oh! Oh shit! I think that's where the arrows are coming from. Uh, and we're on the other side of that door. Okay. I've jumped down in a bad place. Yep. That was a bad choice. And I think we're done with the first level, chaps. I've definitely missed a secret, I'm pretty sure. Yep, I missed a secret. Oh well, I got two of them. Two out of three ain't bad. And uh, yeah, you get the same stats as you did in the original. Time taken 17 minutes. There we go. Right, level two. Level two. I think um, for this first episode, we'll just we'll just keep it like that. I'm gonna because the levels do get quite long. Um, I think if I do this level, it might make the video like an hour or something. I want to keep this first episode fairly short. Thank you very much for watching. If you want to see more of this, because I would love to play through the Tomb Raider games again. Um, it's just, I, I, whether or not I prioritize them. So videos might not be frequent of this, depending on how well they do. But seriously, thank you for watching this, chaps. I hope you're going to enjoy the journey with Lara, if, if however long it is. And uh, if you're playing these remasters, are you enjoying them? They 
Honestly, this seems just exactly what I wanted so far. I love it. So we've made it to level two, which um, I think is the city of Vilcabamba, I want to say. Keeps going to load game automatically. I just want to save my game. There we go. But yes, thank you for watching. Please like and all that crap. And uh, hopefully we'll see you again very soon for some more Tomb Raider Remastered. Oh, it's so good.